So tonight I watched um, a film written and directed by Melissa Painter called Wildflowers um, that premiered at the Cannes Film Festival in 1999 and then opened in 2000. So I'm counting it as a 2000 film. Um, it's filmed and set in and around San Francisco and Marin County. It's a beautiful sort of coastal Bay Area um where they're at the beach a lot and the um, coastal, coastal Marin County or, you know, the, I guess it's the coast of the bay, but, you know, you know what I'm talking about, especially if you've been there. Beautiful place. Um, it's set in 1985 and, and the protagonist, played by Clea Duvall, is 17 and she, she was born in the summer of 68, aka the summer of love, um, or is that 67? Whatever. So she's born in the summer of 68, um and raised mostly on a commune in Marin County. And then at, when she was very young, her mother left. Um, and now she's living on a houseboat with her father as a teenager. And um, she sees this woman that she's inexplicably drawn to and that she's played by Daryl Hannah. And so she slowly starts to uh, get to know this woman and um, thinks that perhaps this is her long lost mother. And, I, and I'm not gonna really go in, further into the details of the plot so that you can figure that out on your own. It also has Eric Roberts as a drug dealer kind of guy who's a little creepy, but he has really wavy, like, locks. So, you know, he's Eric Roberts, so he's always good. This is one of those films that is, like, high on style and very weak on substance, um, it's not really sure what it wants to say about the 60s or the 60s mindset. It's not really sure if it has a plot so much. Um, it's sort of missing a point of view, but it's got a, it's a beautiful, um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cinematography. It was gorgeously shot, gorgeously framed. It was shot by, um, Paul Ryan, not the Paul Ryan, um, <laughs> someone else named Paul Ryan. Um, it also has, um, um, Robert Haas, who was a, the Nobel laureate, the poet laureate to the United States at, some, at one point, um, and he reads some of his own poetry. Um, it's sort of a gorgeously shot film. It's strangely edited. It kind of made me think of, of, like, To the Wonder. It's not quite as, like, awkward and, like, Fuck narrative structure as to the wonder, but similar. And there's a lot of weird like edits where you were like, oh, we're here, we're there, we're here, we're there, we're there. Oh my God, where are we? Um, but I'm not sure that the Melissa Painter is like a strong enough filmmaker to take all of the rules and just throw them away and be like, I'm picking and choosing what I want to do. I don't think she's, I don't think it succeeds. Um, but it's engaging because of Clea Duvall's interesting film presence and Daryl Hannah who is just so fucking beautiful um they hold the movie even though if anyone else were in this movie it would just be a snoozer um this is on Netflix it is uh from 2000 it's written and directed by Melissa Painter and you can watch it on Netflix it's it's very beautiful um and it was called Wildflowers